Good day everyone! I am Matthew Lukbalukas and today I'm going to do some weight training exercise. The weight training exercise I'm going to do today is hammer curl and one arm row. To do, to do this exercise, uh, you need to first spread your feet apart. Next is to curl the dumbbell any direction you like. You like to do it in front or you would like to do it uh, moving towards yourself like this. So it is important to keep in mind that always keep your elbow bent. Do not straighten it out. So the benefits of this exercise is it helps strengthen your biceps and also the strength of your shoulders. So next we have is one arm row. So for this exercise, you only need one dumbbell. So how to do it? So first, uh, Look for anything that is you are able to touch, a chair or a table, something you can lean to. Then, bring your left leg forward, bending it. Then, your right leg backward, fully stretching it. Then, touch the chair or any table that is near you. Then, pick up the dumbbell. So, keep in mind to straighten up your back. Do not bend, do not do it like that. You must do it, you must straighten it like that. And then, pull the dumbbell as high as you can. Do not sway your elbows. Always keep your elbows near your body. And also keep in mind that do not fully straighten your elbow for it can harm your muscles. Just do it like that. So the benefit of this exercise is to fully train your here, the muscles here in your wings, the strength of your shoulders, and also here on your arms. And that is all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christy Jane Delpenia. And for today's video, I will be showing to you my two weight training exercise. In the two exercises that I am going to show you, the only equipment that you're gonna need is a light pair of dumbbells. So prepare your dumbbells and let's get started. Okay, we will gonna start with your back. Bend over, back sit for the 5th degree angle. We were going to do a seesaw row. One at a time, keeping your shoulders square your elbows in I want you to keep your back straight not for roll over back straight shoulders attracted elbows all the way back we're doing each one of this exercise for 30 seconds and when you get as many as you can then push yourself at the same time don't hurt yourself as a compound exercise using free weights the vent over row works many muscles group the main muscles group targeted is your back the latissimus dorsi and rhomboids. Pulling the weights higher to your chest works your upper back muscles, while pulling the weights closer to your waist works your mid back muscles. Rowing is a total body workout, meaning it will strengthen the major muscles group in your arms, legs, and core and increase cardiovascular endurance. In short, if you consistently perform seesaw row exercise, you'll notice that you'll become stronger and less out of reach. Okay, next, setting one dumbbell down, we're gonna do what's called goblet squat. Hold the dumbbell in front, feet should be apart, butt back. All the way down, all the way up. Good. Make sure you're putting your weight in your hips. If you're just getting started or first time doing squats, you might not be able to go as far down with me. 
that's okay. But most important part is you put your butt back first and you set back every time. So what muscles do goblet squats work? Similar to other squatting movements, goblet squats mainly works at quads and glutes. Because you are holding the weight at chest height, the core will stabilize the trunk during the movement. While the lats and upper back muscles work to keep the kettlebell or dumbbell in place. So that's all for today's video. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. It's me again, Irish B. Figueroa. So for today's video, we will be doing an resistance exercise. So come and watch me. Arat na! So this part guys, as you can see, I use a dumbbell as my equipment while doing the resistance exercise. Dumbbells are great for strength training, specifically loading the skeletal system to improve bone density. They also challenge the muscular system to enhance lean mass, metabolism, and ultimately function. Another benefit to using dumbbells in your strength workouts is called unilateral training. So guys, watch it and enjoy! So as you can see here guys, we use a stationary cycle as our second equipment in resistance exercise. As you can see here in this video, I am with my friend and we exercise together. Riding a stationary bike can help build strength in your legs and lower body, especially if you use a higher resistance. The pedaling action can help strengthen your calves, hamstrings, and quadriceps. Additionally, it can work the muscles in your core, back, and glutes. So, this video will end here. Thank you for watching! I'm Kyla and welcome to my vlog. Today I'm going to perform to you two weight training exercises or resistance training and that involves two equipment. So this today's vlog I'm also going to share to you guys the muscles involved during this weight training exercises and also I'm going to tell you the purpose of this weight training exercises. So for our first weight training exercise guys um, this involves the lifting of these dumbbells this dumbbells weighed about weighs about three pounds and we're just going to lift this like this so the muscles involved in this um, weight training exercise are the muscles in your upper body specifically the muscles in your arms which um, the purpose of this is to stimulate the growth of the muscles in your arms as the muscles in your arms are stimulated or the growth of the muscles in your arms are stimulated then this will um, also give you stronger uh, muscles in your upper body for our next weight training exercise guys we have here stones an improvised kettlebell so I'm using stones so they're making stone here and and it's really heavy so this is for um, kettlebell weight lifting so what we're going to do is like this weight left like this put it down again like this put it down so <clears throat> so in this exercise guys in this type of weight training exercise the muscle that were involved were all the muscles in our body both the lower muscles and the upper body muscles and 
and also the purpose of doing this exercise is to aside from the fact that it will also stimulate the growth of the muscles this also strengthen your lower back and also um, with this exercise it will improve your um, muscle coordination the flexibility and others again guys the muscles involved in those two weight training exercises that I did earlier were uh, the upper body muscles and also the lower bo body muscles, both the lower body muscles and upper body muscles and the second weight uh, type weight training exercise. And also the purpose of doing those um, weight training exercises is to stimulate the growth of muscles, also to um, create stronger muscles in your body and improves coordination and flexibility thank you guys for watching and i hope um you've learned something Hi everyone, I am Carl Vincent Silva and welcome to my vlog. So today I am going to perform two weight training exercise or resistance training while using equipment. So in my vlog, I will be telling you all the muscles involved and the purpose of the exercise that I perform. So the first exercise that I perform is dumbbell bicep curl. The muscle involved in this exercise is the bicep. The purpose of this exercise is that it helps you build bigger biceps, strengthen your elbow flexion, and improve your grip strength. Curls work the biceps muscles at the front of the upper arm and also the muscles of the lower arm. You use these muscles anytime you pick up something which is common throughout your daily life. And for the next exercise is the tricep rope push down. The muscle involved in this exercise is the tricep brachii. The purpose of this exercise is that it helps you tone the muscles on the back of your arms and increase stabilization around your shoulder point. Also, it improves your compound exercises. Triceps push downs also benefit your overall strength and endurance by engaging your core, back, and shoulders. The move is also adaptable to your strength and level as you increase the weight as you go. So that's all for my vlog guys. I hope you all live a healthier life and stay safe. Thank you for watching. Everyone, I'm Remika Teleron and for today's video, I will be performing two fitness exercises using improvised equipment that you can download in your house. Squats with improvised dumbbells. The dumbbell squat is a classic foundational exercise to build strength and power in the quad, hamstrings, and glutes, a movement that activates muscles in the hips and legs. Dumbbells add more resistance than a traditional bench.
bodyweight squat promoting muscle growth. Don't forget to inhale. and I am going to share my two training exercises with the use of resistance training equipment. So first exercise is the bicep curls with the use of dumbbells. So bicep curls work with the bicep muscles at the front of the upper arm and also the muscles of the lower arm. Bicep curls help strengthen your arms which can boost athletic performance and facilitate daily activities and picking up objects. Bicep curls are usually done at 10 to 15 repetitions. Second exercise is the push-ups with the help of push-up handles. Push-ups are beneficial for building upper body strength. They work the triceps, pectoral muscles, and shoulders. Push-ups are a fast and effective exercise for building strength. And that's it for this vlog. Thanks for watching! The tricep kickback is an isolation exercise focused on triceps brachii muscle, which is made up of a little lateral head, medial head, and long head in the back of your arm. Perform tricep kickbacks by bending forward and left, lifting your arms behind you. Overhead tricep extension works the triceps at their most lengthened position. The tricep muscles attach above the shoulder joint and below the elbow joint. Thus, in the overhead tricep exercise, when the weight is at its lowest point, your triceps are stretched to the greatest length. <laughs> 